Good morning, beautiful souls. Welcome to class. So lovely to see you this morning or this evening if you're watching later. So today's class is going to be a weekend flow class to help release tensions we may be holding onto our neck, shoulders, lower back, upper back. So let's begin the class by sitting in a cross-legged position and place your hands on your knees. Take a big exhale and a big inhale. As you exhale, just letting go of the day, the morning that's been, the week that's been. This is your time now on the mat. You've made this time for you. So make sure you use it and make the most of it by being present with your breath. And your breath will guide you as to how much or how little you need to do today. Let's take our head down and inhale, lifting our heads up. Down and up. Down and up. Back to the center, turning your head to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Half little circles one way, half little circles the other way. Relax your shoulders, sitting nice and tall. Stay focused on your breath. Try to relax your jaw, your tongue, your lips, so you're not clenching any muscles on your face. Back to the center. Circle our shoulders back. Circle our shoulders forward. Beautiful, let's lift up the hands. Take the right hand under the left, twist it, and we're just gonna lift up and down. Lift up and down, lift up and down. And then we're gonna take the left hand and place it under the right. And again, lifting up and down. And you feel the shoulder blades just coming about, apart. Your trapezius muscles just pulling slightly. And one side might feel a bit different than the other, and that's okay. And then bring the elbows together, bring the palms together. We're just lifting up and down up and down for three, two, one. Beautiful, let's lie down on the mat. We're gonna grab our straps or belt. And if you haven't got a belt or, you can even use a tea, like a tea towel and just hold it. So fingers facing the front, hands shoulder width apart and we're just gonna tuck the chin in and pull, inhale, reach the fingertips over your head, touch the nails to the floor behind you. And again. And pulling that shoulder blades behind you. And again, let's do three, two, one. Now hold that over your head. We're gonna lift the hips up into the bridge. And down. So the bridge is really good. It helps to create space in the front of the thighs because usually we've got this 90 degree angle in our hips and thighs from sitting in chairs. So when we lift up, we're actually creating space here. Yeah? And down. Let's do three more. Three, two, one, and then gently rolling down. So we're holding the belt for the strap, shoulder width apart. We're gonna inhale, exhale, slide the fingertips to the top of the knees and back down. And slide, and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up, pulse, 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 for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands behind the head, lift the feet up, opposite elbow, opposite knee, for 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then hug the knees in. Breathing in, breathing out. Let's lift up our feet nice and to the ceiling. We're going to have the right hand down, the left hand up. Inhale, exhale, reach and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change sides. Inhale, exhale, lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then hug your knees in. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to come up with the fingertips facing the buttocks. We're going to lift the feet up 90 degrees and we're going to extend and back. Extend and back. Pull the belly button in for 10. Last bit of the abs. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Lying down on the mat. Hugging the knees in. Taking a big breath in. And a big breath out. So that's the abs done. We're going to work the glutes and then we're going to go on to the flow. So hands besides the hips. We're tucking the tailbone under, lifting up. And roll down and up. So this is the Pilates bridge. The Pilates bridge comes to almost the bra strap. The yoga bridge comes up almost to the shoulder blades. So see the difference? I'll leave my hands up. That's the Pilates bridge. That's the yoga bridge, okay? So we're doing the Pilates bridge. Now, if you want to have your hands up, you can. Just makes you not rest on your hands. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now come up onto your toes. Coming up onto your toes. Lifting up, dropping down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, pulse, 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 pulse. Let's do ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, dropping it down, hugging your knees in, circling from one way, circling the other way. We're going to have the feet hip distance apart. We're rolling up into the bridge and this time we're lifting up the right leg. We're dropping it down and up. Now you can lift your toe up on your left foot so the weight's on the heels for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and then change sides. Rolling up, lifting the leg up, up and down a couple of times, and then lift your toe up so the weight's on the heels for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and then hug the knees in circling one way circling the other way really pulling that belly in the knees into your belly button <coughs> we're rolling over onto our elbows and we're coming into the plank tucking the toes under coming up onto your elbows and we're pulling that belly button in pull the shoulder blades apart suck that belly button in for 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and then come in child's pose, stretching it out, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Coming up onto all fours, let's inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. I'm just going to turn around this way because the heat is on that way. It makes me cough. Tucking in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Neutralize your spine. Take your shoulder to your hip. Change sides. And again. And again. We're going to extend the back leg. Curl it in. For three, two, one. Change sides. Extend, curl for three, two, one. Beautiful. Now we're going to extend the left leg. Hold it up, point the toe, and we're drawing a dinner plate. Notice my leg's not going too low. It's staying up. So when I come up on top of the dinner plate, it's adding a bit of contraction into my glute muscles. Now try not to have your hip coming up like that. Have it parallel and circle for 10, 9, 8, 7. If you want, you can come down on your elbows, okay? Up to you. I've lost count. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold it there, change direction. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knee, push up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Take a big breath in, a big breath out. We're changing legs, pointing the right toe to the back wall. And you're drawing a dinner plate on the back wall with your toes. Pull the belly button in, engage the core. Try not to sink down, keep it up, that's it. Shoulders away from your ears for 10, nine, forehead facing the mat, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Change direction. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So good. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knee. Push it up. You're doing so well. For ten, nine. Stay breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one. Beautiful. Coming down. Take a big exhale and a big inhale. Well done. Breathing in, breathing out. Now we're going to come into the flow side of things. So in movement, we usually forget our glutes and the glutes are so important because there's so many muscles there big muscle group there to support our posture. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure we're creating a body for life. We don't need to beat our bodies up and work out for hours and hours and hours. It's consistency and doing things that nurture your body to keep it in alignment. So when you do do things like running, cycling, canoeing, you're using your body equally left and right. So tuck the toes under, inhale, lift up. Exhale, look down. One more time, inhale, look up. Exhale, look down, tucking the toes under, coming into downward facing dog, walking it out, left, right, left, right. Coming up onto your toes and then coming back down. Now, take the shoulders away from your ears, press the knuckles down onto the mat, slight micro bend in the elbows. Pull the belly button up, lifting your tailbone up to the ceiling. Pushing the heels down onto the floor. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Let's take some line breaths here, inhaling. Exhale through the mouth. Inhaling. 
Exhale through the mouth. Inhaling. Exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. Coming up onto your high plank. Bending the knees and then coming back into the downward facing dog. High plank. Bending the knees. Downward facing dog. And watch this. We're going to do high plank. Bend the knees. High plank. Bend the knees. High plank. Bend the knees. Tap the knees down. Lift up and back into high plank. Bend the knees. Tap the knees down. High plank. Tap the knees down. High plank. Let's see if we can carry on like this for 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, one, and then drop the knees down, come back into child's pose. So we just worked our quads there, the front of our thighs, you should have felt it there, beautiful. Coming back onto all fours, tucking the toes under, coming into downward facing dog, walking it out, left, right, left, right. So walk the hands in a little bit for me. Take your right hand to the outside of your left ankle and turn your head into your armpit. Holding it for three, two, one. Change sides. Left hand, right ankle, turning your head for three, two, one. Beautiful. Dropping the right knee down. Hand, knee, foot in one line. Bring the hand over your head. Now bring it over your ear, extend, point the toe down, tap for five, four, reach, rotate your chest to the ceiling slightly, that's it, beautiful, two, one, changing sides, hand, knee, foot in line, this one's called the gate, lifting the hand up, rotate the chest to the ceiling, Bring the hand over your ear. Feel the stretch from one side of your body. Lift that leg up, point the toe down for 10, oh, sorry, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, coming back onto the mat, onto all fours, into the dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Leaning forward onto your hands, step your right foot forward. Now hold it here for a while. Sink down deeply. Sinking down deeply, you've got the option of bringing the knees there. Then stepping the left foot forward, tucking the neck in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, take the shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the neck in. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward bend, tucking the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck in the neck. Place the right hand to the middle of the feet. Inhale, lift up the left. Bend in the right knee. Lengthen the spine. You can bring that hand and wrap it around your waist, palm facing away from you. Open up your chest. Change sides. Left hand, bend in the left knee. Inhale, lift up the right. Lengthen your spine. Rotate the palm to face away from you and wrap that hand around your waist. Framing the foot, right leg back, left leg back, and you can be in the dog or you can flow it out. Now hold the upward facing dog, relax the shoulders, and then downward facing dog. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Lean forward onto your hands, step your right foot forward, left foot forward, tuck in the neck, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck in the neck, inhale, reach up to the ceiling, exhale, forward bend, tuck in the neck, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, right hand to the middle of the body, bending the right knee, bringing the hand up, turn the palm away from you, wrap your waist around you, wrap your hand around the waist, rotate your shoulder back, beautiful, other side, left hand to the middle, left leg bent, lifting the hand up, lengthen your spine, 
rotate the palm away from you, wrap it around your waist, rotate your shoulder back. And back down, tuck in the neck in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck in the neck, left leg back. Hold it here. Breathing in and breathing out. And then right leg back. You're in the dog or flow it out. Hold the upward facing dog, rotate the shoulders back. Tuck the toes under into downward facing dog. And breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Lion's breath here, inhale. <sighs> exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward onto your hands. Step your left foot forward, right foot forward. Tuck the neck in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck the neck in. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. This time we're gonna take the hands, cactus arms, bringing those shoulder blades together for three. Two, one, bring the hands behind you. Open up your chest, exhale, forward bend. Tuck in the neck, release the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck in the neck, frame the foot and you can jump or step back. And you can be in your downward facing dog or flow it out. Hold the upward facing dog, relax the shoulders. Downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. We're gonna lean forward onto your hands, step your right foot forward, drop your left knee down. Inhale, lift up those arms. Lifting up those arms, grab hold of your left wrist, bringing the left hand over your ear. Really feeling a nice stretch on the left side of your body. Right hand over your ear, Feeling the stretch on the right side of your body. Bringing your left hand down, right hand up. Turn to face the back. Bend the back leg if you want to. Grab hold of that foot and open up your chest. And then gently release. Framing the foot. You can be in the dog or you can flow it out. And breathe. Lion's breath. Lean forward onto your hands. Step your left foot forward. Drop your right knee down. Inhale, lifting up. Grab holding on to your right wrist. Bring the wrist over your head. Beautiful. Left and bringing it over your right. Touch down, right hand. Left hand up. Lengthen your spine, open your chest, let it shine, bend the back leg. Grab hold of the foot, turn your head to face the back. Releasing, framing the foot, hair everywhere. Tucking the toe under, coming back into the dog or flow it out. And breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Now you can step forward or you can do a jump, which is when you bend your knees, you look at your hands and you just jump forward. Tucking the neck in, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tucking the neck in, inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward bend, tuck the neck in. Inhale, come into the chair, palms facing each other. Press the palms together, I'm just gonna turn around. And we're gonna take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Now have a look at your knees. One should not be forward or back. They should be in line. Lengthen your spine. If you want to, you can open your wings. And then gently release. 
Heel toe your feet out with your two peace fingers. Grab hold of the big toe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt it down. One more breath. Toe heel your feet together. Coming down into the chair. Palms together. Press them in. Then pull the belly button in. Left elbow, right knee, open the wings and then gently back into the chair. I'm just doing my little adjustment so you can see and then forward bend, tuck in the neck, inhale lengthen the spine, exhale tuck in the neck, frame the foot, jump back or step back and then you can go into the flow or you can be in your downward facing dog. And breathe. Beautiful. So lean forward onto your hand. Step your right foot forward. Coming up. Rotating the back leg 45 degree. Extend the front leg. Shoulders back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Reach, reach, reach. Coming into the triangle. Rotate your chest to the ceiling. Now let's bend the knee. Bend in the knee, bring the hand over your head and then bring the hands to the front of the mat. Sink down, inhale lengthen, melting down, let your head hang completely loose, lean forward onto your toes, we're going to come over to the other side, bending the knee. Extending it, shoulders back, inhale, lengthen, exhale, reach, reach, reach. Triangle, rotating your chest to the ceiling, lift your fingers up a little bit, bending the knee, bring the hand over the ear. Bring in the hands to the front. Toe heel your feet slightly in, right hand to the middle of the body, inhale, lift up the left. Breathe. Stay with me, beautiful souls, left hand, lifting it up. And then we're walking our hands to the front of the mat and we're stepping back and flowing it out if you want. And breathe. Bring the knees down and let's melt the heart down. Melting the heart down. Chin on the mat. Big breath in, big breath out. Bring the palms together and bring the hands behind your head. Lean slightly back. And then gently release. Come into full child's pose. Surrendering on the mat, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Coming back up. Just sit here. Grab hold of your elbows, bringing the hands over your head and change sides. Nice. You can sit cross-legged if you want. Beautiful. Bring in the hands behind you. Open up your chest. Doming your back. And then bring the hands up. Take the right hand underneath the left, lifting up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. One more time. Up. Hold it and gently release. Change sides. Left hand under the right. Lifting up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Now hold it and gently release. Beautiful. 
Nice, rolling the shoulders back. Well done, beautiful souls. That's the hard part done. Now we're going to stretch it out. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. Relax the shoulders, relax the face, relax everything. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. And take a mental note how different it feels after the end of the class, and the beginning of the class. And then circle one way and circle the other way. So it doesn't take much to release tension in the body. It's consistency that matters. We want to create length and space in our bodies so any tensions we're holding on to can be released emotionally as well as physically. So we're not carrying extra baggage, we don't need to. And then let's lie down on the mat. We're going to grab hold of our, our straps, belts, towels, whatever you've got. And we're going to stretch it out. So. Lying down on the mat, let's pop both feet on the belt or the strap. Rotate your chin down towards your chest. Rotate your shoulders down away from your ears. Now, the heels are pointing up and the toes pointing down if you want to exaggerate the stretch. And breathe. Big breath in, lines breath out. What a great way to start or end the day. Let's drop the right leg down. Grab hold of that strap with your left hand. Inhaling, exhaling, open that leg to the left, turn your head to the right. If you want to deepen that stretch with the left leg, point the toe towards you, push the heel away. And with your right hip, just rotate it down towards the mat. And breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. I really enjoy this delicious breath. You're taking this conscious breath, moving with awareness, breathing with awareness, really tapping into our compass in life, which is our breath. Inhale, lifting up. Changing hands, bringing the leg over your body. I'm bending my leg because I haven't got the space, but you keep it straight. And again, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And then inhale, come back up. So I really know, you see, if I've not done a, a class every other day, I can tell so yesterday I didn't do a class and my body really needs it. The day after I can tell the difference. So notice when you practice consistency and you've got all the 10 minute videos as well. So if you can't fit in a whole class, jump on the 10 minute one, but make it part of your life. And then gently release. Interlock the fingers, hug that knee in to your armpits. So here in this position, we're stimulating our digestive system. We're pushing into our stomach. And then when we twist, again, the digestive system is getting stimulated because we're wringing it out. So it's not just about stretching and touching your toes. and It's about working your internal organs and to stimulate them to get them working and gently release. Now while you're lying there, just take a mental note of the difference between your right and your left. Your body will give you feedback as to how this suits you. I know my hips feeling lighter, my legs feeling longer. Let's grab hold of that strap. Let's do the other side. Lifting the right leg, popping it down, shoulders down, stay with me, you've come this far, don't run away. Drop your shoulders down, that's it, if you want to extend the stretch, heel up, toes towards you, 
We're grabbing the strap with the right hand. Inhale, exhale, open to the right, turn your head to the left. And breathe, I'm just bending this because I have a lot of space. And then inhale, come up, change hand grips, bring the leg over your body, turn your head away. If you wanna extend the stretch, push the heel away, toes towards you. Beautiful, and then coming back, walking that hand up the strap, dropping your shoulders down, tucking your chin in. And then gently releasing. Interlock the fingers, change the thumb grip so we're mindful of using our body left and right equally. Pull that knee into our armpits, feel the stomach getting compressed. Rotating your foot one way, rotating your foot the other way. Beautiful. And bring that knee over your body, turn your head away, lifting that hand up. Beautiful. We're going to take the feet over to the left, to the right, and the hips over to the left. Pop the left foot over the right and grab hold of your left wrist. Drop the hips down to the mat and breathe. Change sides. Taking the hips over to the right, hands over to the left, feet over to the left, lifting up the right foot, popping it over the left, grabbing hold of the right wrist, dropping the hips down to the mat. So your right hip can tend to raise up, just drop it down slightly. Yes, that's it, perfect. And gently release. If there's any last minute stretch, you feel you want to do, do so. Rotate one way and rotate one other way, circling from side to side. Well done. Such a beautiful gift you've given yourself is the gift of time to nurture your body. So lying down on the mat, closing your eyes and breathing. Take a nice big exhale, releasing anything that you may be holding on to that's not serving you. Exhale it out of your body and mind. Inhale, peace, relaxation into your body, into your mind. Exhale anything that's not serving you today out of your body. This is your time you've created. So take your breath, take your attention to your toes. You're relaxing your toes, you're relaxing your toes. You're relaxing your ankles, you're relaxing your ankles. You're relaxing your calves, you're relaxing your calves. Relax your shins, relax your shins. Relax your knees, relax your knees. Take a big breath into your thighs, you're relaxing your thighs, you're relaxing your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your hips. Take a big breath into your belly, you're relaxing your belly, you're relaxing your belly. Your lower back's relaxed, your lower back's relaxed. Take a big breath into your chest, you're relaxing your chest, you're relaxing your chest. Your upper back's relaxed, your upper back's relaxed. Relax all the fingers in your left hand, you're relaxing all the fingers in your right hand. Your forearms are relaxed, your forearms are relaxed. Let your shoulders just melt down onto the mats. You're relaxing your jaw, your tongue, your lips, all relax your cheek muscles, your forehead, 
your whole body is nice and relaxed. And I invite you to just follow your breath moving through your body. Feel the cool air in your nostril as it comes up and down as the breath leaves and enters your body. So gently take a couple of deep breaths, slowly coming back to your body on the mat. While you lie here, I invite you to think of three things that you're grateful for today or this week. Inhale each one of those things into your body, exhale gratitude out into the universe. Inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling and then gently in your own time wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, turning your head left to right Whenever you're ready, bend your knees and roll over to one side. Stay here for as long as you need. You've created this special space for you where you're just focusing on yourself. I thank you for your time allowing me into your space. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you next time.